being a game developer can be hard. Anything you put out can be criticized by absolutely everyone who comes into contact with it, and people often don't realize how much work you put in. If you choose to release a game on Steam, they have a consumer safety feature that allows users to refund any game they've played for less than two hours. So sometimes people can even buy your game and you won't get paid for it. Being a YouTuber has the exact same challenges. Anything you do and make is open to criticism from anyone, and people can even consume the content you create without you getting paid. About 20% of all views aren't monetized due to people using ad blockers, so we don't get any money for those views. Only we just deal with it. I'm grateful people enjoy my content, and you'll never hear me or my friends complain if you use an ad blocker. In fact, if you want to, your best bet is you block Origin. Choosing to be a game developer or a YouTuber comes with these consequences. Built-in consumer safety refund features, and avoiding watching ads. What you have to do in these positions is ignore the outright hate, take in the constructive criticism, and better yourself and product where you can, and appreciate everyone that's good to you. Many people are amazing to us. I know many of you happily sit through ads on my videos or get YouTube Premium because you want to support me. And that's what makes me want to always improve and keep making good content despite any criticism or monetary setbacks. The creators of Ban Ban, however, have taken a much bolder approach to these challenges. Instead of being grateful of everyone who does support them despite their flaws, they've chosen to cry on Twitter about Steam features and insult my friends. There is a difference between criticizing slash making fun of a game and outright scummy behavior. Regardless of what you think of a game, how pitiful it is to fully play it and then refund it. That's not the whole tweet, but I'll address the rest in a second. Obviously, refunding a game on Steam is not scummy behavior. In fact, it specifically exists to protect against scummy game developer practices. All of Ban Ban Chapter 2 takes under an hour to beat casually, and it is perfectly reasonable to come to the end of that playthrough and realize the experience isn't worth $6. It sure isn't the consumer's fault that your game is so short that anyone trying to get the most of it still can't find two hours worth of content. I can again compare this to streaming, where people can subscribe to me for about $6 on Twitch. There are many people who have watched me for hundreds of hours and never given me a cent. Good! Their money is their own. They can watch me forever, for free, without any obligation to sub. That's what I opted into as a streamer. As a Steam game developer, you have opted into allowing anyone to refund before two hours of playtime. It's pitiful to assume they owe you $6 for a half-baked game, and it's scummy to call them out on it. The rest of their tweet specifically attacks two YouTubers who refunded their game, David Barron and Aya, because presumably they made money during their... <laughs> Steam. They also show two other screenshots of people refunding who I don't know, so I guess they're just attacking random people for not liking their game. Couple things. First of all, David Barron and Aya, even though they're YouTubers, are also individual consumers who reserve the same rights as everyone else. So you just have to suck it. Second, they didn't make any money during their stream because of your crummy game. They made money because they created content for people to enjoy they probably would have made much more money playing anything else, because frankly, our audiences mostly don't care for your game. See, the way it works is that they're only paid if people like watching them. If no one likes watching them, they don't get paid, regardless of what they're playing. Just like a game developer won't be paid if nobody wants to play their game. Make sense? Content creators and game developers don't owe each other anything. We just coexist. If anything, though, it's most important for content creators to be honest about what they think of games, because that's where the general public looks to see if they want to buy something. I watched Ako play your second chapter. I liked his video, and I hope he makes a lot of money from it. 
And it showed me, as an individual consumer, that your game isn't worth $6. I replied to the Euphoria Brothers tweet sarcastically, but with actual advice that would solve their problem. Crazy idea. Instead of pushing out a barely hour-long chapter every month, take a bit longer and actually make a $6 game. Then you can make money alongside the big bad honest YouTubers. And then I added, also one of your screenshots of evil YouTubers, David Barron, gifted me the game. So even though I probably won't be playing it, he still spent money on your crying asses. I might play the game, might not. I don't think I can refund gifts. But if I could, I would judge the game as I played it, and if I decided before two hours that it wasn't good enough, I'd refund it. Doesn't matter how much money I made streaming it, or how much of the game I played through. As a Steam user, I can choose that. Just as you watching this can choose to use an ad blocker to watch my videos or not. So stop being babies, and try to at least pretend that you're doing this for anything more than just money. Or just make Chapter 3, which already has a Steam page up, take more than two hours to beat. Also, get massively ratioed.